You know what I'm thinking about today? Um, why people stay in bad relationships or toxic relationships or relationships that aren't just good for both parties. And then I realized that most people are afraid or not afraid. They can't stand the pain of the breakup. So there are two types of pain they're trying to avoid. The pain of the breakup, that sharp pain that they experience when they break up. And um, it's very difficult to move past that sharp pain. And then there's another pain that's actually difficult to move forward from. And it's the pain of being alone and feeling empty and lonely. And that's more of the dull aching pain. And they would rather stay in that bad relationship or toxic relationship or abusive relationship because although it's painful it is a pain that they've already figured out how to cope with and how to deal with and they're familiar with it so they are thinking they'd rather stay with a pain that they're familiar with and they know they can cope and survive with it versus a pain that they're not familiar with and they don't know how to cope with it yet so they choose the pain that they know how to deal with already but in the long run, the problem is when they stay in that relationship, they're literally eating themselves up and they're emptying their cup. And it's really torturous and devastating in the end. And it's really not good for anyone. So for the people that are going through relationships that are bad and they're trying to get out of it, I'd recommend that you really study which pain that you're really willing to endure. because. Although the pain that you're familiar with, you already know how to cope with it, actually the pain from the breakup, although sharp, is momentary. And the dull pain from the loneliness, the emptiness, it's all you have to do with that is just learn to start filling up your cup again with love, kindness, through different people, family, friends, and all that. And that can be dealt with. And that pain is not as bad not even close to the pain that you're experiencing right now in the relationship you're at. And I hope this message reaches out to people that are in those relationships and have the courage to face that pain, which you think is bad, and it's actually easier to endure, and it won't last forever.